have you guys ever heard of a temperature inversion effect? Because I honestly have not. And I guess that is what's happening right now and all this weekend in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where I'm at right now. I am down in Jackson, which is the town, and it is literally like negative 12 degrees right now. I have never experienced this type of cold in my life in a long time. Uh, it's like seven in the morning. I came out here to kind of check out some of the sunrise and, and see what's going on, but it is like piercingly cold. I'm here visiting my sister uh, to ski for the weekend, just hang out, enjoy uh, the beauty that is the Grand Tetons in Jackson. But it's freezing. Supposedly it's like 14 degrees up at the summit of the mountain right now. Um, and like I said, it's in the negatives down here and thus explaining the temperature inversion effect, which I've never heard of before. And I stayed here at my sister's apartment and I think she's in here cooking up some breakfast or potatoes or something like that. So let's go see what she's up to. So our plan for today is priority is to ski. I've never ski this mountain resort and it's absolutely just one of the sickest ones in the country. There's a tram just like the one at Snowbird except it goes up 4,000 feet of vertical rise which is just insane. You can go right from the parking lot all the way up to the top to that like ever so famed Corbett's Coulard which is just like an insanely steep cornice into like this small chute. So just made up some breakfast. We're gonna go catch the bus after this to go head up to the mountain resort and, and get the ski pass and everything like that. So I'm really looking forward to shredding Jackson Hole and taking advantage of today. So let's get to it. So I opted to switch entirely over to the GoPro all right now just because it is super, super cold and I wanna be able to ski pretty hard because I really only have one day here. So when I have my big camera and my bigger backpack on, I just, just a little more limiting. It's completely bluebird day, so I'm really stoked on that. So we're headed over to catch the bus, and then I think it's about like a 20 minute ride over to uh, the village from where we are now, and we will be skiing. Thank you, appreciate it. That bus ride was hot. It took about like 20 minutes to get here, and now we're in the base. There's the tram right there. I literally think I just lost my sister. We were on the bus together and I have no idea where she went. Nah! <laughs> okay, found her. Hi, how are you? I'm just looking to buy a pass, a day pass, and I have like a voucher thing. Um, I do not know, that's all I have. Thank you, I appreciate it. Have a good day. I was able to secure like a 50% like disc discount thing off the lift thing, which really helped me because originally they're like 170 I think for the day. Uh, so my friend gave me this 50% discount and so I got a day ticket for like 85, which really is not bad. If I'm gonna buy a day pass to anywhere, that's pretty good to come here. So I need to find Matt Cat. I have no idea where she would have went. I think she said she went somewhere back here. I've been waiting all my life for so I think behind us is the tram line that we gotta get on now. How long would you think that tram line is gonna be? I think four cars. Four cars? How many minutes? Like 30 minutes. 30 minute tram line. First ever tram here in Jackson Hole. First time even up here. So I think all in all went pretty smooth getting up here given our circumstances. Now we just kind of wait. Cause I know and you know what we could be. Like a it takes you up 4,100 vertical feet of rise. 100 people can cram in this thing, which is pretty much the same size as the Snowbird one, maybe a little bit smaller. And then we're going all the way up to the summit, uh, which has an uh, elevation of 10,400 feet. So we're about 6,100 right now. We're going up to about 10,4. So really, really stoked. Baby, don't say you don't believe in me. stay out of the wind because this mic just does not do wind noise at all. But I think we're gonna try to do a top to bottom because we just waited for a long time. It's already like 11 o'clock. So I think this whole process took us around an hour. Just wanted to show you guys this amazing view behind us. Conditions this year have been really, really uh, like low vis, you could say. So she said she hasn't even seen uh, the valley this clear. So I mean, just beautiful. And like I said before, this is prime GoPro weather. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
That's my den, dude. Nav and I both just got destroyed, essentially within like 100 feet of each other. I had a complete double ejection, airborne side backflip. As you can see, my goggles are messed up. And Natalie essentially did the same thing, just had one ejection. So we're getting them out of the way early, everyone. Getting them out of the way early. So uh, no more falls from here on out. <laughs> Nick and I decided to hike up what's called the Casper Headwall here. We had to traverse our way over a bit, take a few lifts to get over here. That one's really fun to explore. It's just, it's a different style. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm trying to get away from some of the crowds with a hike. It doesn't look like it's too bad at all. Pretty mellow, uh, nice boot pack up here, so. I think it'll be a nice, good incline. Yeah, Got my boots on hike saying. mode, baby. We're ready. Cause I know, and you know what we could be. Like a song. Up to like the first, I don't know, maybe like spine thing. What'd you say, Nat? Maybe, yeah, I think we can go farther. I think we can push up that way, but oh, it gets you just juices flowing. So, might be sandwich time, little lunch break. Now, I guess we'll figure out how much farther we can go. Yeah, lunchtime on that rock right there. Lunchtime on the rock sounds good to me. <laughs> Also the hiking and just being able to like do so many different things within one discipline like this and to be able in a whole new zone in hiking it just like brought me back to life my back was super tight i think from that gnarly fall i took on the first run i can't describe to you guys how much i love being in the mountains or just being outside in general whether we're down in moab or if we're up here on the top of a mountain up in jackson hole just encourage you guys to find what you love what you love to do your passion get outside um, and just experience the world around you because there is so much right out of your own backyard whether you know it or not so i'm gonna turn this around and i'm gonna show you guys just what i'm looking at look at that just just endless endless views endless beauty I, know, and you know what we could be. I think we're gonna try to head down through here snow feels super wet and super heavy unfortunately that's what happens when the sun bakes on it all day. There's one way, and that's just to go down. One thing that's strange about this tram is that both times we've waited in about like a 30 to 40 minute lift line. And my issue with that is just like, we've been skiing so hard and like you're just in the zone basically, you got the sweat going down and then like you just stop and you're just standing. So it kind of like really breaks up your whole flow. And Natalie said that this really isn't even that bad compared to some of the other times that they have. So we're gonna rip this tram and then go on. really skied as much as we could. The whole freaking mountain, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, the whole mountain. Did some hikes, explored some new areas that Nat Cat hasn't been to. So I think all in all successful day, but it's not done yet. We're gonna go out somewhere, a uh, place called Alpine to a hot spring. It's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna feel really great because my back is super, super tight. <laughs> are completely natural or so they say it's, it's insane because they're right off snake river which is, is completely filled with ice right now and as i was just flying a drone i didn't understand where they would be because i'm literally fl like floating next to ice chunks but like i said apparently they're all natural i don't know what causes them although i am smelling that sulfur rotten egg smell that is usually company's hot springs so it's right off the highway so it's super super accessible how beautiful this is just right down here on the snake river here's a tub because here's one of them right here we got people on this one yeah um, it seems to be like a whole series of tubs right here so, so technically the, this one's the hottest one the close one the one in the middle is warm and then the one on the end is the coolest one that's why no one's in it Yeah. Oh, it's nice. See you, Denver. This feels so nice. 
Get just low so enough so you're back. These guys are trying to convince people to go into the river, uh, which is absolutely, I would assume, freezing cold. What's your name, homie? Ah, John. John? What's your name? I'm Lucas. So I linked up with John over here. I met in the hot springs. And yeah, we're about to go in the river. He's talking a lot of smack about going in the river, so we're all going to go over lay in the snake river for a little bit and then jump back into the hot spring so hey hashtag don't be a pussy all right boys down. hope you're it's late cool. for me today <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. it is cool just relax just kind of just it's cold look at there's literally an ice chunk with me right here that's how cold this is. It feels good though, because it, it really like just shocks your body. Now my whole like lower extremities are just really like pulsing. I think it's a good exercise, you know? This makes you feel like super wild, you know? I think it brings you back to like your roots of just being a human and being like this wild animal. So that was fun, I like that. Hey, thanks John, I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. Thanks man, appreciate it. Okay, that felt so nice just sitting in this hot like hot springs. We've been here for maybe like I don't know, maybe like an hour-ish. As you can see, it's like literally already dark. It's honestly like hard to leave because it's just so beautiful, like a perfect sunset. And there's so many people in here just talking about their life stories and stuff. So it's just like oh. see you guys, nice to meet you guys. All right, see ya. Well guys, we were gonna go to the hockey game, but that did not really ever come to fruition. I think Nat Cat and I are just going to hang out. Nat Cat just whipped up some like sausage sandwich pepper thing, so thank you guys for watching. It's all done for the night. I'm offloading on my footage, trying to get my back right, because uh, we got another big day tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get up for sunrise to check out at uh, Grand Teton. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, peace.